Since loudness is such an important topic in mixing, it seems appropriate at this point to talk about the perception of loudness in general. Loudness is measured in decibels. Decibels are a relative logarithmic measurement in that the amplitude increases exponentially with decibel value. Specifically, every 10 decibel increase or decrease of decibel value corresponds to a factor of 10 increase or decrease in amplitude. In other words, increasing a sound's amplitude by 10 decibels multiplies its amplitude by 10. Increasing a sound's loudness by 20 decibels multiplies its amplitude by 100. Increasing a sound's loudness by 30 decibels multiplies its amplitude by 1000, and so on. Decibels are a relative measurement in that the measurement of decibels does not tell you precisely how loud a sound is. It can only tell you how loud it is relative to some reference amount, usually designated as 0 decibels. So for instance, a level of 3 decibels is 3 decibels louder than the reference level, and a level of negative 3 decibels is 3 decibels quieter than the reference level. When discussing real-world sounds traveling through the air, loudness is most often measured as dBSPL, or decibels of sound pressure level. This is a unit of measurement based on the decibel, with the reference level of 0 decibels per sound level being the quietest sound that is audible by a young adult with undamaged hearing. The threshold of pain is generally placed around 120 decibels per sound level. This range of 0 decibels per sound level to 120 decibels per sound level gives us a practical dynamic range of human hearing. 80 decibels per sound level is a good listening level for music. Loudness can be measured in two ways. It can be measured in terms of peak loudness or in terms of average loudness. Peak loudness measures the amplitude of the highest instantaneous peaks in the sound. Average loudness measures the overall average amplitude level, taking into account all of the loud peaks in the quiet in-between spaces. Peak loudness is good to know because peaks that are too loud will often cause audio equipment to overload. Average loudness is good to know because it reflects more accurately than peak loudness the human ear's actual perception of loudness. The level meters on most audio mixers measure peak loudness. Average loudness, when measured as described previously, will still not be a terribly accurate measurement of human loudness perception. Loudness perception is complicated by the fact that the ear has a bias toward certain frequency ranges and away from others. The ear is most insensitive in the subsonic range and becomes progressively more sensitive into the upper mid-range, after which its sensitivity rapidly rolls off. The sensitivity also varies with volume, with the ear being less sensitive to bass and treble at lower volumes. 